Welcome to this tutorial for Groundbreak CRM. Today, we will cover the Territory Management Module. Groundbreak CRM is the application designed by sales representatives for sales representatives. We have been in the CRM business for over 20 years. Most CRM applications are, in reality, management reporting tools. It is very important for sales managers to forecast revenue, maintain a history of important conversations with customers, and ensure smooth transitions during changes to the sales staff. While still meeting those critical needs, this application was designed by asking ourselves one question. What can we provide to sales representatives, particularly people in the rental business, to bring in more revenue? This means that we really understand not just the equipment sales and rental business, we understand the challenges companies face with rolling the application out to people who are used to working with a pen and paper. It is not an application that was designed for tech-savvy sales representatives and then adapted to an altogether different industry. It was freshly built from the ground up while taking all of these factors into account. Groundbreak CRM includes excellent territory management features which allow your company to automatically assign leads, jobs, and accounts based on both geography and type of business. First, go ahead and load the Groundbreak CRM web application and log in using credentials with the rights to make these alterations. Generally, this is an administrator account. Once the application has loaded, locate and hover over Territory Management and then click on Configure Territory Management. To make edits to this page, click the Edit button. Now we are able to make and save any changes. The configuration screen allows administrators to turn on and off automatic assignment for accounts, jobs, and leads, inherit teams from a parent account, and assign new records when the Assign To field is blank. If any changes have been made, click Save. Otherwise, click Cancel. Since we did not make any changes, we'll click Cancel. We will now move on and look at the details for an already saved territory management. Click on Territory Management in the top menu. The Territory Management page is where sales administrators create new sales territories and define the rules for those territories. Let's dive a bit deeper and take a more detailed look. Click on the item named East Indy Rental Territory. Once the page loads, we will go ahead and click the Edit button. The next screen will be the same if you are editing an already created territory management or creating a new one. Here, we can enter the territory name, the sales manager, teams, and description. Do take note of two particular fields. Those fields are assignment method and account classification. There are three methods to assign new records to users. They are round robin, assign to manager, and manual. When the address of the lead, account, or contact matches the territory rules for a territory, the record will either be assigned to a member of the territory in a round-robin fashion, assigned to the sales manager who can then assign the record to their preferred sales representative, or they can be assigned manually. The next item is the account classification box. Since Groundbreak CRM supports sales, rental, and even service representatives, you can have the same or different rules for assigning businesses based on the type of business. To give an example of this, when a new lead comes into the website for a rental, you can have that assignment use different rules than when a new lead comes in for used equipment. Go ahead and click Save. Let's now have a look at the Area Definition subpanel. The Area Definitions are used when you create the rules for matching addresses of leads, accounts, and jobs to the territory. Creating and editing rules is a simple task. To do so, click the Create button. A small form will appear asking for just the field name and field value. This form can be used easily enough, but let's go ahead and have a look at the full form. Click Full Form. Doing so will open a new screen with the same field name and field value boxes, but will also present the ability to enter a default team, user, a short description, and a default manager. Let's first look at the field name box. Clicking on the drop-down menu, we see three options. Rules can be assigned based on zip code, state, or county. Just select the desired field. For this example, let's select zip code. 
Now enter the desired zip code in the field value box. As you can see, we already have a default team selected. To select a new team, click on the arrow and then search for the desired team. The global assignment is fine for now. A user can also be assigned to this definition. The same procedure for a team search can be applied here. Just for fun, let's change the user. Click the arrow next to the name. In the new window, search for a name. I'll enter Wallace in the first name box and then click search. Wallace Sandberg is the man I am looking for and a simple click will load him into the previous user field. Heading down, we see a description box which is very handy for entering quick notes to inform other users of this definition's purpose. The next box is used to assign all records that fit this definition to a particular territory manager. It's not a required field, but we will have a look anyway. Click on the arrow and begin the search for a territory manager. Leaving the territory field blank, we will select a name from the Assigned To field. I'll scroll down and select Ralph Marinello, then click Search. Our results are listed at the bottom. We only received one, but it's good enough. Click on East Indy Rental Territory and it will populate the Territory Management field. Now we just need to click Save and we are all done. Go ahead and do that. It's that simple. Area definitions can use combinations of states, zip codes, and counties to achieve the desired results. If any one of these definitions matches the zip code, county, or state of an incoming job, lead, or account, then it will be assigned to this territory. The next subpanel, Users, will take us back to the discussion of round-robin assignment. This list of users is where the assignment is placed when round-robin is used. Though, in order to do so, a list of users will need to exist in the user subpanel. Adding another user is just a couple of clicks away. First, click on Select. In the pop-up window, search for a user by any method that you need. I'll just rely on Wallace again and search for him in the first name box. Now, in the Results subpanel, locate the user you wish to add and click on their name. You can keep adding as many names as you would like later, but for now, we are all set. The other assignment method, assigned to Sales Manager, is not as complicated and you will not be required to enter any names in the user subpanel. All of the changes have been saved automatically and your territory management has been successfully changed. Creating a territory management is just as straightforward with no surprises or hooks. So that's it. Groundbreak CRM is an excellent solution for your equipment sales, equipment rentals, account management, and sales representative management. We are excited to assist you with this groundbreaking CRM application and taking your business where it deserves to be. For more information, head to groundbreakcrm.com. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about Groundbreak CRM, and we look forward to working with you.